Hey YouTube, this is Dumas RLC, back with another video of me just opening a bunch of uh, random crap that I got over the last week or two. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my son, he wanted to be part of it, so I figured, hey, come down here, we'll go film, real, we'll go film this real quick. Hey, pretty hey. much, this is pretty much all Hot Wheels except for the lone matchbox, and I guess we'll probably open that one first because, yeah. So this one is from the 2020 Matchbox Collectors line that was uh, their, their kind of premium line that has like the real riders, mostly opening parts. Um, this is not really a, a line I go for a lot, but there are a few castings I really like. I, I really like the 32 Ford pickup, like when the gold one debuted a few years ago. That was probably my favorite. Love that casting. And the black one with the uh, from just the regular uh, opening parts line was one of my favorite uh, 2020 releases. So this is the only one I needed from the set. Finally, Grant picked it up. Got it for, never found it in the store. I had to get it offline. Finally got one where shipping didn't uh, make it not worth getting. Hey, Daddy, question. Yeah. Do you know what this 1320 thing is? Yeah, there's, there were 20 cars in the, in the series. Uh, this so this, is, this really is just the 13th one that, of the line. Uh, That's all. So. He'll probably ask me random questions here and there. He's normally a video game kid, but uh, figured he wanted to come down and do these with me. <laughs> yes, you may so. have heard me in the background um, last time. One of the last ones. I know I was yelling at you and your sister the other day on one of them. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the this is the 29 or 30, 29, 32 Ford pickup that Matchbox did. I, like I guess I really like this cast. I love the fact that they actually did it with the uh, larger wheels on the back instead of it just being the same oh, front and back like hand. Matchbox does. Yes, there's your hand. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the only downside of these, it's like, I hate that these are still plastic base. I wish these had metal bases to them, but there's only so much you're going to be able to do because they include this. Now, I know some, especially like the old school Matchbox collectors, they like having the, like the box is probably a nice addition for them. I have no use for them. They're pointless. But that's just me. So that is... Whoop. <laughs> that's the 32, 32 Ford pickup. I can't... And there's a blue and black one coming out later this year in the moving parts line. I'm going to have to definitely pick that one up. A blue and black one? Of this, yeah. Yep. Okay, that'd be cool. <laughs> All right, what should we do next? Which one next, bud? Uh, I don't really know. Just pick one. We should probably do that. These ones. Want to do the Deadpool? All right, we'll do a Deadpool's Deadpool's Chimichanga truck. Let's do the Mario Kart ones last. Well, we're gonna do this box last. I have a case of uh, pop culture over here. You'll enjoy those ones once I get to them. But <laughs> so this is Deadpool's Chimichanga truck. They use the sorry. Don't be sorry. They use the classic um, ice cream truck from back in the '80s. And they they uh, redid the interior, and as you can see, let's zoom, bring it up here. You got Deadpool in the back there. He's not happy to serve you. I finally was able to get both of these, so I figured I'd open both of them up on camera. The Yankee. <laughs> that means angry. That means angry. Uh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think Jim, huh? So I think Jimmy Lou was one of the big big reasons this one actually ended up happening. Um, you, I don't know if he was the one that really pushed for it because Deadpool is not really something oh, off camera. Deadpool is not really a uh, family friendly character. <laughs> I love the fact that they did this. The Jimmy Chonka truck. We'll get the actual ice cream one now. As you can see, still Deadpool in there. He's great this time. I forget which version that is. I think he, I think there is a comic where he's gray, but I don't remember what. I, didn't, I don't follow the comics as closely as I probably should, as much of a nerd as I am. <laughs> but this was the third time they used this. I think they did the yellow one twice. That was the that was the, the one I had open was the first time they did it. I think they did it a second time uh, a little later. 
There's so. like a little menu on the huh? side of this one. Yep. Yeah, what's that read anyway? Let's see here. It's just got a little this at the top. Yep. Let's see. Chimmy. Can't read. I want to look at this one. Chimmy. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. If you need to uh, read it all. <laughs> Whoop. Zoom. You want, Cash only, no refunds, don't like it, get that. Because, yeah. <laughs> says any flavor you want as long as it's vanilla, sorry. Yeah, see? <laughs> Alright, what next? Did you build a bill? Alright. Alright. That's a really interesting uh, thing to create. Yep. That'd be cool as like a, a cart in a Mario Kart. Remember the... Uh, I bought you for your birthday a few years ago. Remember these two? Mario. Oh, yeah. Zoom. Yeah, I remember those. Oh, zoom. Oh, focus. So, remember I got you those two? This is, this is, this is from the same line. came out a couple years later, and they, they did a re-release re again last year or this year or something. I don't know. I just never found the bullet bill before. I finally found one. Imagine I never... If, um, huh? Imagine if a bullet bill were like a playable character. I mean, they did the, uh, the <coughs> Queen Honeybee from Mario Galaxy mm -hmm. and a Wiggler in Mario Kart 7. Both of those were like new characters in Mario Kart 7. Okay. So he knows his Mario stuff. <laughs> yes. And my Zelda stuff. And your Zelda stuff. And Donkey Kong Country stuff. And DKC. <laughs> yeah. Which, this by was... the way, um, sorry to brag, <laughs> but I got 101% Donkey Kong Country 1. Mm -hmm. 102% Donkey Kong Country 2 and 103% Donkey Kong Country 3. <laughs> so, although he likes to talk about his games. <laughs> although not 200% Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze because that game is actually really hard. So, with the hard mode stuff, oh boy. But, yep. I don't really get the character cars much, but I had to get Bullet Bill because Bullet Bill. Pew. <laughs> Alright, what next? We should probably do that brave one. You wanna do the brave? Alright. The brave Pizza Planet truck. Watch, oh, I wow. don't know if it's from the movie or for the sh from one of the sh the short. I wanna say it's probably might, probably more from the short. I mean that looks like um it was wood carved by Exactly. The yeah, it's either in the movie or in the short that's related to Brave. It's probably somewhere in the background. Um is it, Brave exactly. is Brave a Pixar movie? Yes. Okay, yeah, so, Bravest Pixar. Yeah, it, now, yeah it I remember in uh, a uh, Toy Story reference. Yep. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and it was the. They think they re they have referenced Pizza Planet Truck in every Pixar movie since. Including Turning Red, apparently, which is like the new one that came out yesterday. Yeah. I think it's every movie at least since two, Toy Story two. I don't think Bugs Life had Pizza Planet Trucks in it. But anyway. I know a lot of collectors thought this thing was really stupid. And I can understand that. However, what Pizza other... Planet. Well, to that. But what other company would even think of doing something like this? I mean, they did the Back to the Future Ford Convertible with a add-on piece of the freaking cow manure. What other company other than Hot Wheels would ever think to do that? It's an easy answer. None. There's no other freaking company that would dare try to do something like that. So they did one from the wood carving in the background of Brave. Gotta get, hey, they gotta get as, as much use out of the casting as possible, right? What a, find as many different versions of the car or truck as you can. I think this thing was awesome. All right. The two packs? Okay. So I finally found these. I know they kind of recently just came out. I found them a day or two ago. You know what? This actually reminds from. me of something from a, a video game. Geometry Dash. It reminds me of the duel. Uh -huh. The duels in Geometry Dash. Because, yeah, there's like a triangle ball. <laughs> Splits mm -hmm. into two. And then the other one has like your, your colors, but they're in the opposite spots. You know, like this. Mm-hmm. So, as you all know, the two packs, one car is a repeat, one is new. This is the repeat, it was in the uh, 
drift drift case of uh, car culture in 2021. Not sure if there's much difference between this one and the one that came out before. Uh, I don't have the one down here to com really compare it. I'll have to compare it another day or someone else already has, I'm sure. Um, but I really like this Mustang casting, the RTR spec. Can I see that for a moment? Go ahead. Yeah, that's actually really dope. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the new one. I actually kind of like this one more than the, the original one that came out. So... I think it's just the wheels. I think these five-spoke wheels fit the uh, custom Mustang much better than the ten-spokes. It's like a race car because it says 25 on the top. No, well, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's a drift car. It also says, um, it, it says fun haver. Yeah. Fun yeah, fun haver. <laughs> that's that. I didn't get the um, GTR case that they or pack. They didn't have it, and of course they didn't have it. I am not one that's going to open a store because I don't have time to screw around. You know what? This bullet bill one actually looks a little bit more like a torpedo Ted with the length. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, the length makes it look like a torpedo Ted. Now we got the Union 76 pack. Which only appeared one time in Mario World, and that's the uh, Soda Lake level. Yep. You know when you get the secret eggs and cheese bridge area? Yeah, me neither then. No. So, the Union 76, this is the repeat Super Bird. It was with the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Team Transport a year or two ago. Um, really nice. Again, not sure if there's much of a difference between this and the other one. I'll compare them another time. But this one, the Semi Roadrunner is the new one to. Oh. Huh, the orange has a fade to it. It's a light fade, light on the dark, light to dark fade going bottom to top. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Shading. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> so this is actually the first use of the metal base for the new tooling of the Roadrunner base. It has Goodyear wheels on. Mm -hmm. This one has Goodyear wheels on it. So I don't know if you can see the copyright, but it should be as the original ninety ninety. Uh, 98 copyright year, and then I would think it would be 97 instead, but whatever. And then uh, it's got the 2016 uh, joint year on it because that was when they finally fixed the base on this thing to, so that the front wheels weren't so weren't sticking out so much compared to the rear wheels. Depending on the real riders, it wasn't a big, especially with this pair of real riders on the old base, not a, not as big a deal. But, like, you look at the, the treasure hunt version that had the uh, dish wheels. It The front wheels are much wider. They sit wider than the rears, and it just looks goofy. Yeah. I hate it. So glad that they finally retooled the base and made it like this. Oh, my God. Daddy, look up there. What? Denny. Oh, you stupid cat. Hold on. Wait. I want to see I wanna oh, something. Oh, you're looking at something? Too? Okay. Um, I actually see a Pixar reference in this one. Huh? Where? Can you, can you guys see it? It looks like Mr. The King from the Cars movies. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, because um, Richard Petty, that, that, that character is based off of Richard Petty. Yeah. And he raced a 1970s Superbird just like that. Yeah, like the... Even though a different color, but... Uh, yeah, like the pointy yep. front and then the thingy on the That's back. That's exactly what it was, yep. That's exactly how... I'll have to show you videos of his old races. 56, all right, 56 Chevy from the ID line. How long are we at here? 13 minutes, okay. Um, kind of a bummer that this line is basically dead. Um, I really, I actually kind of really like these. I don't have a, the ID track, I have no use for it. That's a really nice, like, but, um, mm -hmm. yep, it's kind of their basic spectra flame that they use. Um, and since it's dead, that's actually quite a big oof. oof. What do you mean? Well, it just, the cars were kind of exp God damn it, Cat. Denny. <laughs> <laughs> he got, like, over the wall. Because the wall doesn't go out all the way up to so. the, um, the uh, anyway. well, the floor, although it's the ceiling down here. Yeah, it doesn't hit the ceiling, the top of the thing. But, um... Yeah, they did a new 56 Chevy for this, for the line. 
I'm hoping that I'm gonna guess that they're gonna utilize this casting. Excuse me, a little more kind of often. I really I gotta compare one of these to the uh the fit the fifty six Bel Air that was already out with it was there was always the metal base had the front wheels tucked up into it. Didn't have quite the stance like this one does. This one's got oh, this one definitely sits higher comparatively. Wow, those things but, are adjustable. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. But um, when I first saw this, when it got leaked, I really liked the idea that they were doing with it. Kind of a little bummed that the front wheels, the tractor's wider than the rears. I mean, I'm not sure why they did that. But, hey, it is what it is. I still really like the casting. I actually bought, like, four of these off eBay. But, um, yeah. Um, really hoping they utilize this casting a little more often. Maybe they'll do a metal base version of it for uh, Car Culture, Boulevard, and whatever. You got the Denny butt. Yeah. The Denny butt is the cat. All right. Now for the Mario, Mario Karts. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so Mario Kart gliders. Saw a previous video. Which, by the way, I... were introduced in Mario Kart 7. Yes. <laughs> Which has a remake of probably the best Mario Kart track ever. <laughs> I mean, I don't so... know. Sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry. You're fine. I know. You like to talk about your video games. But, um, like I said in a prior video, I like the idea of these. I hate the price. These are pricier than... They're more expensive than I feel they should be, but... What are you going to do? I mean... No, we got no control over that. I mean, I guess... Other than just people not buying them. They are Nintendo characters, I guess. Yeah, it's it's licensing and all that, but... Yeah. As it is, there's only a few of these I, I go after. As I mentioned before, I only bought this. I really want it specifically for for uh, Waluigi in the B-Dash with the Super Glam. Yeah. But, um... The base price of these was just, it's just, it was just too expensive, but Target had them on sale for a good enough price. I figured I screwed it. I'll just buy it. I think it was 17 instead of 24 or $25. So. Hey, you know what? Um, if anything, I might grab a couple. Waluigi's cart, the cart that Waluigi has. Uh -huh. That's um, Mario's, like, base cart in the Mario Kart game that introduced. It's a. Uh... The most popular Mario Kart. Super Dash, I think. Or Mario Kart Wii. Isn't it? No, it's from Mario Kart DS. Oh, DS? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's like Mario's main cart in Mario Kart DS. Oh, okay. Which was the one that introduced the most popular Mario Kart. Oh, track, sorry. Which is... Well, I'm going to have to pick up the ball for a moment. Oh, no matter. So, we got Yoshi in the Super Coop with the uh, parachute. Why does the parachute thing look like candy? I don't know. It's just plastic they use. <laughs> the clearness and just the whole texture just makes it look like candy. You see it? Yeah. There. You got Mario on the pipe frame with the parasol. Oh, yeah. I think this one's dumb. I might actually try to find the first Mario release from the glider from the gliders line and swap the... Uh, so these pop out. So I'll swap it, swap because that one comes with just a normal. I wonder if glider. I wonder if they'll make one with dry Bowser on the bone rattler, which is the. Uh, is that the green truck car? No. No. The bone okay. Rattler is like um, it's like a, it's like a tricycle thing. Oh, uh, they might. They probably won't do trikes. I think they're only going to do four wheel carts, because these are meant to be used on track sets. Oh. Yeah. So like with these, that's why these are made to pop off. Now you can use them on a now you can use them on a track. I wonder if they could do Bowser in the uh, the Koopa Clown cart thing. Uh, because that because that does have. They four might wheels. do. I don't know. I'm not sure how big the line has been lately, so I'm not sure what they're really going to do going forward. Because like I said, these are I mean the the regular ones without the regular releases of these are now six bucks. And it's just it's just too damn much. Hey, huh. it has what? the blue standard wheels. Oh, yeah. It yep. has the blue standard wheels. Yep. So, Waluigi. 
In the of course Mario I wanted this one. In the Mario Kart DS3. Mm-hmm. Yep, the B-Dasher. That's what they call it. Ah, uh, yeah, the B-Dasher. So, yep, I had to have this one. I'm, Apparently like Mario so, Kart 8 has this thing. What, the B-Dasher? Yeah. Yeah, I used it. What the hell are you doing, cat? I'll find him. Okay, the heater's just working. Yeah, the, the boiler went on. I got a little scared for a moment. Why? She's a boiler. Because. <laughs> They want a cat. So, yeah, had to have this one. So I'm glad the uh, pack went on sale when it did. I guess that was probably the only way I was going to get one. And with it being a Waluigi, I, I got to mention Waluigi Pinball. You guys remember that stage cart <laughs> track? Have you ever seen a video of Waluigi Pinball? I don't know. Is it, it's in Mario wait, Kart DS. Is it on 8? Is it on 8 Deluxe? Uh, it could possibly be in the booster pack oh, thing. Which we don't have yet. Yeah. Alright, last but not least. This box. Pop culture. This is... Oh, wait, not last, but I'll open that one last. This is the pop culture super, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mix. I don't really oh, get... Boy. I don't get pop culture often. I had to have this one. Because this is childhood nostalgia for me. So, out of focus. There. So, let's see. What do we want to go first? We'll go... Do the blue one last. Huh? Obviously. We want Leo last? Okay. Yeah. We'll look at... Oh, wow. There's like... There's two of each, except for one of them. There's a couple of them have three of each. So, we got Donatello in the XG, uh, Dream Van XGW. This was, uh, casting from the 80s that Hot Wheels had. Um, originally, it was designed with a opening side door and whatever, so you could, I guess that's the one I'm going to open. At, at the, uh, excuse me. Yeah, they had a opening side door and stuff when they brought it back a few years back for the uh, nostalgia line in the uh, no uh, pen up nose art mix, which I really I get those. Should have bought them back then. Um, they did it just as a panel van instead without having the opening side door. I kind of wish they still had the side door to open, but what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, Raphael, probably my favorite character from the line series. Uh, the custom GMC panel van. This is obviously this was the um, A team van, but they uh, they did it in a way. This is, I like that they're still using the casting. I hope they hope to see it in like uh, Car Culture Boulevard at some point, in like just an old old style van deco or something like that. So, whoop, drop that. We're gonna do oh, that one, I guess. Let's see. Do. We got Mikey in the 55 Chevy panel. Here's... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Kind of a bummer that they modified this casting to have a sealed rear door now, but... Retail, I kind of... I get it. Still a bummer, though. So, yeah. Uh, open that one. Why not? Over there. Get those last. Then we got Leo in the super van. My or do they call it the 70s van? van? Yep. His son's favorite. Oh, and that's the opener. So, the son's favorite character. Probably most people's favorite character other than maybe Michelangelo. I always just, I just liked Raphael's attitude when I was a kid. I used to quote, it all, quote him all the time from the show. Because <laughs> I was that much of a dork. So... <laughs> And then we got the A100. It's pizza delivery for pe for the for the guys. Oh yeah, they love pizza. I forgot. Of course they love pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? We'll open that one up. So let's see, which one should I open first, bub? This one first. A100. All right, A100 pizza van. I like how they painted this one like their. Uh, the party van that they use in the show with the green top the yellow sides and everything hey Danny no nothing so yeah 
Okay. Nothing special. Just again, this whole mix played into my nerddom. I had to have it. I normally, like I said, normally don't get the pop culture stuff because I don't care. But I had to have this mix. And I think there's a word is I think there's a Mar Mar Nintendo or Mario mix coming out later in the year. Gonna have to get that one too because I skipped the first one like an idiot. All right, what next, bub? Mikey, Leo, Donnie, or Raph? We're going to do the Leo one last. And do Leo last? Here's so, first. Raph first? He's, He's my favorite. favorite. All right. Yeah, Raphael here. GMC van. That is a real. I like that. This is actually a really nice cast. I do really like this casting. And you just got Raft Turtle Power. Oh, it is different on both sides. That's good. I think um, uh, Mr. Steve Vandervey has been trying to do that with different deco on both sides of the pop culture vehicles. More incentive to open them, pretty much. All right, what next? Mikey or Donnie? Donnie. Donnie? All right. And then oh, obviously, is Leo's last. Might have to get a couple. Well, and the green wheels. So let's see. We got them kneeling down there. Attack. Smiling attack position. <laughs> oh, foot stinks. So, yeah. I wish they did a little something added right there, like a window print or something but yeah. Let yeah go ahead <laughs> careful he almost got smushed between the doors. and he'll live Lacuna was gonna come in. <laughs> yeah I'm waiting for Todd to pop up from up there now too <laughs> he's the first one to start doing that all right 55 Chevy panel what's funny I kind of find it kind of funny they still still blank right there that's where the uh when the casting came out originally was when they were doing like the uh they had a cutout for the they had a molded hot wheel logo on the base of the huh on the base of on the bottom of the uh interior piece it would pop through it's kind of a neat idea but i think it was just not financially important so yeah. They're making pop culture in Indonesia now. Wait, are these still Thailand? Okay, yeah. Alright, car culture still Thailand, but pop culture is apparently done in Indonesia now. That's new. I don't know if that's new for this mix or what. Good to know. Not that it really matters. Yeah, okay. Alright, and last but not least, we got Leo... The leader of the turtles. Well, Splinter. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. See, like, the, yeah, they put the window print there. They didn't do anything on the back of the next GW. I don't know why. Yeah. It's not just an error, right? Yep, not on that one either. So, all right, whatever. But, yeah. I don't think Todd's gonna pop up. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. So, yeah, that's this week's openers. Uh, well, this videos. I'm, this honestly, this probably won't get loaded onto YouTube for a while. They still got a few to load. How's <laughs> about to be like? Oh, yeah. Wait, we do this weekly. Now, well, yeah, maybe I try. These will all get put into the jammer later because. I don't have the jammers down here for him right now. But yeah. So, all right. Say bye, bud. Bye-bye. Later. Later. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, please, if you enjoy. <laughs> Later.